special solitaire video at hand. We also have ourselves a giveaway, so let's just get into it. I hope your day has been well and that you're ready to relax, play some solitaire. I'm excited, so let's do this. So one of my friends hooked me up with this thing called a pip box. And this pip box is a monthly subscription of playing cards with new decks. I'll leave the link in the description to where I got this, of course, as usual. So let's put away these packing peanuts back in the box and see what decks we have that are new and that we're going to play with tonight. Just one, though. So, what this is called is called a pip box, and they give you a couple new decks, a couple old decks, and it's a kind of a retired decks, and it's really cool. So let's take a look at our sample cards to see what we have. Maybe we'll have one of these decks here and get a sneak peek, as we will. As this will be the deck we'll use tonight, the Dunkers. Oh, this is awesome. I know, that's the Tally Ho. I am excited for the Tally Ho so much. All right. That's how I feel right now, honestly. Let's put these cards to the side and see what other cards we have here. As soon as I saw these, I knew I wanted them. Just look at those lovely colors and designs. So the deck that will be given away will be a Dunkers deck. Just in case you're wondering, and we'll get into that very, very soon. And we also have some poker dogs and poker cats, and I'm pretty sure that these are the second version, but if not, those will be given away soon at some point as well. So let's open up the decks at hand and get into our night of some solitaire. And if you'd like a chance at this deck, just let me know. I would like a deck. Comment your favorite deck. Oh, there we go. Honestly, I love the decks that are food themed as this one has. A nice texture to it. And let's get this going. So once again, if you'd like a chance at the giveaway, I will choose a winner from this video. All you have to do is comment, let me know you'd like a deck. And if you'd like to go a step further, let me know which deck you'd like at all. As I am loving this color theme. And let's get into this one. Awesome. Do I love myself some Oreos? That's the thing. All right, let's put these boxes to the side and officially begin our night. Sorry, that was a little bit of a different start. But you know we're still good. And right away, these cards have a little bit of a different texture. Let's see if you can see it. They're very smooth, yet have lots of control. They're a little bit different than a regular card, but just as good with integrity. And this already has the making of a very durable deck. Now I'm not just 
just saying that it's actually pretty nice. Alright, I think we're good to begin our first game. So one more time, just leave a comment for the giveaway if you'd like a tech. I'll pick a winner very soon. Just keep an eye out for a response from me to see if you've won. And if you'd like to get these, or to get this subscription, I'm getting this one for a couple months just to test it out. The link will be in the description to where to get that. Or if you just want a deck of cards, amazing place. Pretty much all of my cards you've seen are from there. Uh, let's see, I'm actually looking at the shelf to the left. And I'd say about 85% of those cards are from that site. And they've quickly become my go-to. But anyway, don't want to talk it up too much. And that is one tough start, my friend. Alright, so kind of to change the subject a little bit real quick. What is your favorite kind of Oreo? Now that is a very tough question for me because I didn't know until about a couple years ago Oreo had so many different and interesting flavors as that was a rough start. And I think I really enjoyed their cinnamon roll Oreo, their coffee Oreo, their thin mint Oreo, thin space mint, and just like a standard Oreo is kind of tough to beat. If you haven't had one in a while. And the golden Oreos are pretty good. Honestly, if you haven't yet, go to your grocery store. Check out the cookies and crackers aisle. And see how many gosh darn Oreos there are there. It's ridiculous.
as we put down our queen and move over our jack. And what a, an interesting start with the quadruple seven happenings at the beginning. And there it is. I think that's the end of this one. We fought well, but double tens and an eight with nowhere to go. And we move on to our second game of the night. Honestly, we just gotta be happy with the fat stack there. Let's see which cards are left unturned. My guess are double eights and double sixes as we have double twos. Double queens and double sixes. All right, let's do a little casino shuffle real quick as we get into our second game. And I'll tell you right now that this deck is ready for its reading. The texture is just amazing. It is a little bit waxy to where it gives you just the perfect grip of feel and handling. It doesn't feel waxy to where it makes your hand sticky just in the sweet spot. You can hear the texture with the waxiness, a little bit of a thicker sound. The designs and coloring are just not great, but very, very good. If I would make one difference with the coloring, I'd be making the blue a little more blue looking. But that's such a small detail. Face guards have to enjoy the effort of incorporating some Oreos in each bite with some milk. So uh, the biggest plus is the texture. Nothing bad about the deck. If anything, the simplistic design on the back, but that splash of milk kind of gives me a little bit of a tingle visually. I've always enjoyed like a slow-mo shot of milk in a commercial just splashing. Not as much orange juice or fruit punch, but milk specifically, as it looks so satisfying. I didn't realize how much I liked milk, really. Anyway, game two is at hand. And let's get this one going, as we have double sevens. And hopefully that's it for now, to start. Uh, whoever gets this deck, let me know what you think. I'm really enjoying this one. I think we have, give me a second while I look through the shelf. Yeah, at least a handful of this brand of cards. And each of them, if my memory serves correct, have been pretty satisfying. As that's our third play. Get some twos out of the way. That three must wait. I think these are called fast food playing cards or something else. But a very nice little piece to the collection. I think this deck is already calling a couple sequels down the line. And I see it, don't worry. So let's do this. Drop that four. And you know what? Let's risk it and drop that four. I was trying to find 
find a spot for a king, but it looks like we're in a little bit of a situation here. Really enjoyed cookies. Now, for the 
those of you who don't know, I've shared this a bit as that is the end of our third game. I'm not too much of a sweets person. I'd much rather have something salty, preferably spicy. As there's nowhere for that King Jack 6, 2, 9, or 8, and on to game number 4. So I wouldn't really pick out the cookies or anything, but we'd always share whatever would be from either side. So my friend would typically get the best value double tens in size for price triple tens and more often than not it would be triple sixes all right lots of triplets it would be i think keebler cookies or knock off keebler cookies like in a size about that big when they had the option of getting famous amos and like many oreos nutter butters chips ahoy more is more sometimes and less is more sometimes but in this case more was more so around that time i really enjoyed fudge stripes cookies because they had a nice amount of saltiness in them with a little bit of sweet you know the deadly combo salty and sweet be into cookies in elementary school. Famous Amos were a big deal. M&M cookies were a big deal. Oreos were kind of the standard cookie. But some people just needed to get their fix in and would trade anything for some Oreos at the lunch table.
so my cookie evolution oh i forget in that before period or after the only oreos or cookies i'd have would be oreos and oreos were actually kind of a let's see what this is about not a i want a cookie and that's when i discovered cinnamon roll oreos those were just amazing mocha chip the mint as ever mentioned um and then like the gold is just like a nice little simple version i tried out the lemon oreos but those were kind of weird i like a snack that's typically like 80 percent good or good 80 percent of the time at least and with lemon cookies you really have to want lemon cookies. There was one cookie I forgot that used to be one of these staples when friends would come over. And this was Chewy Chips Ahoy Reese's and Chewy Chips Ahoy. Those things were nice as a kid. The way I would eat a cookie. There are two ways of eating a cookie. One is you pop it in your mouth. Actually three ways. The other is you do it in two bites. And the way I did it is I eat it like a little rat. I would nibble down each piece enjoying the texture, the flavor, the individual chocolate chips, peanut butter raw dough, what I assume would be raw, and just like go for it, and one cookie would take me at least a minute to have a cookie about that big. So I miss those, and I think that's about it for big cookies, or big cookie, as you would say. I guess. Another thing I remember is for Christmas time, one of the things that we would get in our stockings would be sweets. And again with the sevens. And the most common cookie I would get would be a mint Milano cookie by Pepperidge Farms. Those were good, but my goodness, when you eat something, your body's saying to you, one is good, then one really isn't good, it means none is good. There we go. But I think my favorite cookie at the moment, honestly, no clue. Not too much of a cookie person, despite what the history might show. Or maybe I'm just delusional and in denial of my cookie love. But probably not. As we receive, I believe, our second fat stack of the night. One cookie that actually is very underrated and isn't cookie such a fun word to say. Cookie. 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 You know what? Comment cookie if you want a deck for a better chance at getting it. So pretty much another entry. Comment cookie. And you'll increase your chances, my friend. Cookie for the cookie deck. How fitting. Anyway. A very underrated cookie are those. They're called Loft House Cookies. And there are sugar frosted cookies about this big. And about that tall, with the cookie being so soft and white, about that thick, and the frosting just as much on top, filled with sprinkles. Honestly, a very boring flavor, yet surprisingly hits the spot. 
And if you want more fat stack. But the triplets, the sevens, just kept on beating us down tonight. As for the final few, double twos and some misfits. So that was the, what's this called? The Dunkers deck. A very nice addition to the collection. And hopefully, one of you will be getting this very soon. Best of luck to you. I love this one. It's hard to find a good blue deck for face cards, and we got one. Anyway, that was fun. Time to say our goodbyes for now, so I hope you have yourself a relaxing remainder of your night. Many, many sweet dreams, and until we meet again, stay safe and eat your fruits and vegetables. <laughs>